Hey guys, welcome to a recap of The Bachelorette, episode 8. You know, they gave this episode a title, but you know, I gotta give it my own little title. They called this the men's tell-all, but really, the men were not telling anything. They weren't saying much, they weren't doing too much. I just felt like everyone wanted their shine in this episode, because I heard people spoke that I never, you know didn't really see or didn't really know what to take away from so y'all this episode opens up and it's called the Brayden show I feel like Brayden this was your moment and he was having it he was enjoying the camera he was letting it shine I felt like that was his moment to really address some things but really he didn't address anything I felt like Brayden was not accountable of his actions and how he you know interacted with the men and how he treated charity i felt like you know even though charity feels like brayden was a charismatic guy a good guy i felt like there was things that he did that was uncalled for and i did like that she did later on address to him that she was a little bit too patient with him more than she needed to be but i felt like when it came to brayden and addressing these men I felt like Brayden, he was not going to take any responsibility of his actions in the scenario. For example, when he interrupted, um, I think it was John kissing Charity, he was not going to say I'm sorry for that because he felt like he needs to address what he needs to address at that given moment. And I think that just goes to show you his lack of maturity. I felt like Brayden, you know, with all the guys, he felt like this is just not that it's a game or a competition, but he didn't really have friends or he couldn't really view the men as friends. They're more as his competitors because they're all going after charity one woman one girl so i felt like this was not really a show for him because it made him super uncomfortable given that charity was going to be kissing other guys as if this is not what you come to do as a bachelorette okay so i felt like that was not a suitable excuse for him to explain why he acted the way he did why he was so super sensitive to the point that you know there's discussion on whether or not he called charity classless um that take us back to the scenario where, you know, Charity, she was out here to beat the longest kiss held at the bachelor Bachelorette situation. And, you know, Brayden said he didn't want to sit and watch that. And I'm like, sir, you are on the wrong show. But what we did learn is that Brayden, of course, he was called back to be on Bachelor in Paradise. So that show is a perfect show for him because then he has, like, multiple options to kiss somebody. He will not be left out in the dark whining and crying, okay? So we get to see a sneak peek of him on Bachelor in Paradise and, you know, he had his little earrings on and he was kissing this young lady. I don't recognize her. I didn't think, I don't think I watched her season, but he was booed up kissing a woman. So I wonder if he's going to be now the guy that kisses everybody on the island at Paradise. So that would be super hypocritical of him, but I think that would happen for sure, for sure, for sure. No doubt about it. So... As Brandon was coming for all the guys, the only person I felt like that was keeping toe-to-toe -to -toe with Brayden was Sean, my baby. That's Ken, Ken Doll. Ken Doll hold it down for us. You know, he had some shots to take at Brayden to pretty much, you know, keep it spicy, keep it interesting for us. Because, guys, they were not giving us the teas whatsoever in this whole situation. Sean was there really holding it down for us. He interjected as much as possible to make Brayden uncomfortable and to really make force him to address to you know, kind of rationalize and realize what he's saying was wrong. That, you know, how he went about the house was wrong. But it came as such a, a ironic situation for Sean to be saying that because everyone felt that even Sean, too, the way he conducted himself in the house was rude given that, you know, he had time alone with Charity. And, you know, the other guys, they wanted their time to shine. We also did hear some, you know, people like Caleb... P, I don't even want to address this man, P. Um, people who were there early on and left early on, they had their moment to talk. But as again, they didn't contribute much to anything to the conversation. Honestly, I can't 
when it comes to the men's tell-all, honestly, we should skip it because, you know, the guys are not going to spill tea. You know, half the time they want to curse, but they can't. Brayden calls that out because he feels like everyone is being faked and not being their genuine self. Um, what else? We did hear Xavier, he, you know, put his input to many different situations that was being talked about in the tell-all. And he is trying to be the voice of reason. And I'm sorry, I'm, I'm at this point, I'm like, sir, I'm still mad at you. Let's bring Xavier. I'm still mad at you on how you left in the show, but we will get to that and we'll address that later because maybe I have a change of heart about Xavier. But yeah, the guys are not spilling any tea whatsoever. Um, Brayden in the hot seat, he was just repeating and not taking accountability. But a fun little thing that he did when he was in the hot seat is that he gifted Jesse Palmer some earrings. And I felt like these are the earrings you want to bring him. I felt like they were not as decorative compared to the ones that that um, Brayden was wearing throughout the show. An odd fact that he shares which was somewhat interesting, is that he just recently started wearing earrings. This has been only going on for a year. So I was shocked about that. I thought that was part of his lifestyle. That that was just him. You know, I don't want to say this, but Brady he gives me a little bit of a Johnny Depp-esque, you know, young Johnny Depp vibes. So that's probably why the girls are going crazy over him. But not over here. This man is doing too much. You know, uh-uh. So, yeah. So, even though, you know, Charity does address a Brayden and they kind of ended off pretty well. You know, Charity's not going to come for him. Like, we going to come for him. So, she was polite and she kind of, like, end things off with Brayden. When now, when when Charity was on the hot seat, in hot seat, and Sean, he wanted a moment to say, you know, his thoughts to Charity. He actually left from the group of men to go sit in the hot seat, uninvited. And he wanted to thank Charity for the time that um, he had on the show and to like get to know her as an amazing person. All the guys were super polite. No one was coming for her. No one wanted to drag her or call her out. This was not a moment that she's not that girl to call out. She's not that girl. She's not that controversial. Is she controversial? No. Is she wonderful? Yes. And these guys were giving her her flowers. So... Speaking of giving people their flowers, let's get into Mr. Xavier, Xavier, Xavier. Let me put down all the other guys because this is Xavier's moment. So, guys, where we last left off, I was not on good terms with Xavier. I was not on good terms because in the last hour, in the last minute, he want to tell us. He want to tell Charity that, you know, he has been unfaithful in the past. And it was numerous times in a given span of five days. So I felt like, sir, you knew this whole information the whole time and had not once uttered that to Charity. And, you know, Charity had a good point. She shared with him that, you know, you could have told me that in hometown. You could have told me that in Louisiana. There were so many opportunities where Xavier could have opened up about his past. And it's very specific. You know, Charity and him had a conversation about how her in her past relationship that she was left heartbroken over a cheating situation. So he knows that this is not okay, this, this is like a soft spot for her. So for him to wait last minute, you know, Charity was upset and rightfully so. She still gave it to him too in that tell-all. She was like showing like, you know, that was not okay. And Xavier is trying to not walk it back, but he was, you know, doing his best to apologize. He understands that and recognizes that there is much growth that is needed on his part. But what he did say is that he still feels the same way. Like, I caught it. Like, it was slipping out. He still loves her for sure. And he has strong feelings for her. And the reason why he left... Before he left, he said, I love you to her at the last minute, last hour, is that he didn't want to have any regrets of not saying how he truly felt about Charity because he did, he did in fact love her. And I'm like, what's not to love? She's an amazing woman. Why would you not love her? So Charity, I could see it in her face and her eyes. She's like, ooh, the emotion is there. But, you know, she got two men, three men, supposedly, three men that she got to choose from, okay? So I don't know if, you know, she's going to consider Xavier again. I don't think so. But, you know, I can see it in her face that she does have a little soft spot for Xavier. And it does not help when Xavier comes 
Um, he leaves the stage, and you know, when we saw the preview, I thought this was going to be a more dramatic moment. But when that happens, you could tell that already the tell-all wasn't telling. So when he left the stage, he went back to go grab a rose that he knitted, and I'm like, this dude, this dude know how to work a heart because her face was like, oh, even my heart was like, oh, do we forgive him? Do we let this go? Like, ladies, men, let me know down in the comments down below. How do you guys feel? Do you think we should forgive Xavier? Because that, that gift was so cute. I felt like, wow. <laughs> I feel like, wow, that's such a sweet and thoughtful gift because, you know, that takes time. And we saw Charity when she was learning how to knit. She was struggling. So she knows how difficult that is to do. It was very detailed. It was like a whole rose with the with the stem and a leaf. And it was not a tiny. It was like good size, you know. So I, I don't know how to feel for her. Like, But, you know, they end up cool because they had a good little cute little hug. And it was, you know, done and over. And I was so proud of Xavier for doing his best to, you know, make the situation a little bit better. Because where we last ended it off, it was not good. It was not the move. It was not cute. I was so disappointed in this man. But, you know, I like that, you know, he is holding himself accountable. And, you know, he is speaking the best he possibly could on the situation to give kind of closure to charity and also for himself too because man we were all a witness to that whole situation and i'm telling you i, w I was so let down because you know charity really liked xavier and i saw you know potential in xavier and i wished xavier you know now possibly he does see it for himself and he wants to be a faithful husband one day to a, a lovely woman but it ain't gonna be charity because charity miss charity miss charity has her options though so, bye xavier you're not gonna be it but we have to get into it guys so who is who do you think charity's gonna pick because we have joey we have tennis bay who we have i kind of have forgiven i feel like i'm keeping an open mind about Jer joey i feel like you know he did recover a little bit in the fantasy suite you know she was blushing he was blushing he was feeling this whole situation she was feeling the whole situation so i do think that you know there's a strong chance that he's a contender being her husband um Ooh. But, you know, I feel like she has to go meet Uncle Joe again. I think they need to do a redo. Maybe maybe I can see the situation as it being a lot for the family. So they have their guard up to the max. But I think once everything is done and over, and it, if she does pick Joey, maybe it will be a whole different experience. Okay, I can, I can understand that. Can we, can, is that a possibility, guys? Am I being too kind? Are we being too forgiving? Let me know. All right. Now, of course. Oh, let me move up. Let me move up my baby's way. Let me move out the way. Woo! Let me take myself out the way. Now, with Dotum, oh my God. Fairy tales do exist, y'all. They do happen. We just gotta get it out of our mind that it cannot, that it, it can, okay? I think of the story of Cinderella saying, it's possible. Like, that whole song saying, it's possible, it's possible, it's possible. You just got to believe that it's possible. So, child, if it's possible with Dotum, oh my God, she's going to give so many women so much hope. So much hope in a situation that fairy tales do exist and that a man can, you know, if he wants to, he could, okay? So I would love for these two to be a match. But, you know, it's up to charity. But, you know, I'm trying to give her my thoughts. We're trying to help a girl out, you know. She said she was having a hard time. We saw the preview with her mother. Her mother was, you know, stressing. It's like, you got to pick. You got to pick one. You only leave with one. Now, I'm holding up two, but you leave with one. You leave with one. Now, we got our wild card. Okay. Aaron, you know, Aaron, he did his pop in. He popped back into the situation. He had his comeback. And, you know, with Aaron, I felt like, okay, let me go back. Charity did express to Xavier that had she had known the information that she did know, that obviously Xavier would not have gone this far into the competition. So possibly that spot would have probably been open to Aaron. I think so. It would have been open to Aaron. And, you know, because she acknowledged that he's a good guy. She acknowledged that she's a great gal. And I felt like where we last left off, she was saying so much positive things towards Aaron, that made me do a double take. Like, 
is he back into the equation or is he not? Like, what are we doing? Obviously, my opinion is that, you know, if you send him home the first time, don't bring him back around. Don't do that. Don't. No, no, no. We stand firm in our decision. We got to stand on 10 toes down on our decision. And I felt like, you know, let it be just between Joey and Dalton. But Aaron, you know, I wouldn't be mad. I wouldn't be mad because he fought for his love. And if she wants to decide to continue on with Aaron, I'm going to let it be. I'm going to let it rock. But, y'all, this whole tell-all, it didn't give too much. We did have a moment where we had our past, you know, bachelors and bachelorettes. No, bachelorettes come into the situation. And they gave their advice to Charity to let her know that, you know, this is a unit. This is a family. We're supporting your decision. And I'm like, y'all, we didn't need them. We, 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 we got our girl. We got our girl, Charity. And I'm so happy that we're going to have this new kind of twist situation um, with the old with an older bachelor. And, you know, I am so curious and so fascinated to how that's going to go down, how it's going to happen. But I did find it shady that every time they want to promote this, this golden bachelor, they show like a, a, a rose that is wilting. Like, don't do me like that. <laughs> don't do that. That was too much. But I'm here for it. So that will be coming up, and I'm thinking I'm going to recap that too as well and see what it's going to offer. But, y'all, what are you guys' thoughts? I know the men's were not telling anything. They weren't doing too much. You know, some guys, they felt like there was the offline opportunity to ask some last questions. They didn't really ask anything that, you know, Charity could have said to add to the equation. Um, But, yeah, we down to, I guess, our last three. We're here for our last three. And next week, we're going to see what's going to happen, what's going to go down. But I'm rooting for our girl, Charity. Whatever decision she makes, we ride with her. We ride with her till dawn, okay? So, guys, I want to know what you guys think. Let me know down in the comments down below. And do not forget to like, share, and subscribe, okay? Like, share, and subscribe for your girl. I appreciate it that and of course as always share as much kindness as possible and i talk to you guys very much soon possibly in the comments i'll talk to you guys in the comments i'll see you guys there bye